670. Oh, they already hooked up the throne cable for you. How convenient. Well, I think that, that was part of the kit. That so it was part of the kit? Part of that kit is that it's tuned and uh, the right length of cable. Right. Looks like we got our adapter. Lots of free coupons and savings. Like that's it. Give me a sticker that adds five horsepower, David. Uh oh. Ooh. Do not use on aircraft. But I want to fly. I guess, like what David said, you're not allowed to get inverted on these things. Yeti. So this is the most expensive small item that I've ever put on my belt before. We got the Predator 670. That's going on the Duramax 713. It's got the billet adapter, your hardware, and I'm missing something. Oh, it's on here. I'll put it on there. And we got the the boots adapter for the for the carb. So it is a pretty penny. Hopefully this thing adds like 10 horsepower and it idles and runs right. All right, so this is the Uni filter that fits this carb. Uh, it doesn't come with the kit. It is illegal for use or sale on California pollution controlled vehicles. Well, they're going to see me from California on the Colorado mm -hmm. River, that's for sure. Don't park on the wrong side of the river, miss. So, that's 10 horsepower, 5 horsepower, minimum, I think, 5 more horsepower with the Uni sticker. So, the kit also doesn't come with any instructions, so <laughs> you're kind of on your own on that one. But it looks pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go move around my mess of a boat right now I'm trying to put together. And we'll try to put this on. First up, got to take this off. And I already took the bolts out. But there's a, a couple of bolts that hold on to this top piece, to where the stock air filter is. And we don't need none of that. And voila. Take a good look around so you can see. And then I'm probably not going to need any of that stuff. And that's the stock carburetor. It looks like I'm going to disconnect the fuel from there. I'm probably going to remove this front plate right here and I'm going to aim the exhaust in this direction. Disconnect this guy from there. Probably doing this all wrong. Get loose. And then we'll build that guy loose. Bam. Now you got all kinds of room to work with.
Look at that. Made by Ducar. Start taking stuff off here. Hoses. Hoses and clamps. Don't want to cut that. Hose clamp off. Um, and then I bypassed the, th the governor on this one, but I think it's messing up this whole system with this card. So it looks like I'm going to have to move the spring that I have back onto this direction to have the governor be able to pull against something. But well, we'll see right now. So I kill those guys off. A 10 millimeter and there's two of them to take off this throttle linkage piece All right. and then you take off this piece right here and put it to the side you're not going to need it anymore then you take this guy off because you're not going to need it anymore. Lots of parts here so far. You're not going to need no more. So what I think I'm going to have to do. Because I'm lazy. And I don't want to actually remove the governor. Is I'm going to pin it to this side. So that way the, the governor isn't just like free spinning around here. So the card's held on by three bolts here. So it's held on by that one, which is an 8mm, and these two uh, bolts over here, which are 10mm. Uh, almost off. I hung up on something. Oh, we got a little sensor here in the front. So, uh, it had this little sensor on here. I'm not really sure what it is. But I know I'm not going to need it anymore. Keep losing that guy. Uh, looks like it has its own gasket here. So it looks like I'm going to be able to reuse that one most likely. It's like a little spacer. Yeah, I have no idea what this little electrical sensor is. And then I'm guessing that's like an overflow something or another. So you gotta take that one off too. All right, so now we're all cleared up, all this extra space on top. I will be changing out this exhaust, but we'll try it with the stock exhaust first. But I haven't gotten the exhaust in yet, and I won't be able to take it on the water yet. Um, I gotta raise the transom to 21 inches, which is gonna be a separate project over here, welding up some aluminum uh, to build a transom that will bolt through and be 21 inches. But here's our expensive piece of block aluminum. So it doesn't look like you can mount it this way for the ram air effect I was hoping for. So it looks like it's going to have to go this way. It looks like there's plenty enough space for the air filter and carb. Maybe. We'll see right now. All right, so there's the adapter. These are what we're going to bolt in. It comes with this little Allen screw here uh, that's going to plug up this fifth hole right here so that way you don't get any vacuum leaks. Alright, so first things first. Readjust myself here. I'm trying not to lose this little thing. Alright, so. You gotta plug up that hole. With that little piece.
I guess it'll go through both sides. So I guess you don't put it too deep. I guess just deep enough so it's not in the way. And then your gasket will go back on from the stock carburetor just like so. Phones are ringing off the hook here. All right, so tighten these guys down, you know, to whatever text bolts or uh, whatever torch stats you want. You know, it didn't come with any instructions, so don't really know. air filter and the carb it's a little too close to the exhaust so when I start it up I'm gonna do it without the the air filter right now but I'm gonna have to change out the stock exhaust uh, to run this carburetor all right so we got the carb on uh, however I'm gonna have to ex get a piece of fuel line and extend it to over there because this is not going to reach the stock fuel line that was already there. And then we got the choke, pull the choke, push to go. Something a little different here. Kill switch work. It's here. What do we have here? Going over there somewhere. So, important tech notes and somewhat disappointing, but the Predator 420 exhaust do not bolt up. They are off by a good bit. So it looks like David's going to be getting a torque tube. A tor some torque tubes. Oh, fancy. I wish that could have went on my boat. But it looks like they're going to have to be custom built if you ever want to run a loop exhaust. Which is kind of fine because on that engine over there, it's, it's even this. Kind of just like uh, it's really close to the air filter. The other ones are gonna stand, they kick out. So what we're gonna do? So these phalanges are the same as 420 cc phalanges. So I'm gonna take David's uh, two 420 cc stainless exhaust and put them on on that guy. So just remember that the four the 670 exhaust don't fit the the Duramax 713. Cock rag. Cock is just going everywhere. So, looks like sadly we're gonna have to go to the two stainless steel 420 exhausts. Not exactly what I wanted, but it's gonna give a lot better clearance for that air filter. Probably not sucking so much hot air in. They kick, they kick out, I believe. They kick out? The mufflers kick out, yeah. They're wider than the engine, so they'll bend out and then have the muffler. Alright, we're almost ready to rock. Got the transom all nice and reinforced, bolts it in. Let's 
put on the stainless steel exhaust. So now it's sitting at the at the right height. Just gotta let the silicone and gasket maker dry for about 24 hours. Clean up my mess. And then we should be able to do a test run on the water.